Small pox and then potato chicken pox that isn't stable. HSVs enjoy the ID scabies and poison ivy, cocksacky and rickettsia, molluscum and eczema. On your differential for vesicular rash. Sick germs when the slithering pass. Sick germs when the slithering pass. Sick germs when the slithering pass. On your differential for vesicular rash. Young kid. With no particular past Brought in by his mother for vesicular rash Mild fever, oh no, he's moping around the house Complaining of a sore throat from ulcers in his mouth And painful blisters on the palms and the soles of his feet Which he gave his sister over the week It's summertime, so they were hoping that we Could find what underlies his ulcers that we Mom got happy cause I got the nitis Hand, foot and mouth cocksacky virus Don't trip cause it's off in control With Motrin and resolves on its own Next kid's a little different with a similar rash Fluid filled vesicles transmitted real fast It started on his abdomen and on to his chest To his arms, to his legs, to his head and his neck Except it spared the palms and soles Dew drops on the petal of a blossom rose All these lesions in various stages, even crusted over after drainage. Moms asked about the perks of aspirin, but in chicken pox, adverse reactions that might involve the liver and brain. So give Tylenol when your kid got pain, I explain. Brady, Brady, here's your chance to avoid it. Clonidine had ICP, cholinesterase poisoning. Notoblock electrolytes, old age and vagal tone, oxygen infection, drugs, thyroid, and naked cold. Brady, Brady, here's your chance to avoid it. Clonidine had ICP, cholinesterase poisoning. Notoblock electrolytes, old age and vagal tone, oxygen infection, drugs, thyroid, and naked cold. Trapeziums beneath the thumbs, scaphoid and lunate Triquetrum joins them up to make it a U-base Sissies under pinky, haymate and capitate Trapezoid points to scaphoid, that away Trapeziums beneath the thumbs, scaphoid and lunate Triquetrum joins them up to make it a U-base Sissies under pinky, haymate and capitate Trapezoid points to scaphoid, that away about a week ago, I thought it was just a cold Till it started with a fever, cough and a runny nose Watery eye, sore throat and a headache Looked in his mouth, blue spots on a red base Temperature rose to 104 He's not vaccinated, but this never happened before On the third day, I was startled by a weird sign Spotted rash that started on his hairline The next day, his face was covered The rash moved down his chest, even changed in color As his mother, I wonder and have suspicion So we came to the clinic for your opinion Quite frankly, madam, this appears to be From the family of Paramix Severity Morilla virus that's the measles, survives in unvaccinated people Saliva, fever from the virus Cough, coriza and conjunctivitis Not to be rude or impolite when I say Since your son's malnourished, needs that vitamin A Likewise, those immunocompromised near him Like if it's exposed, need immunoglobulin I'd be remiss too if I didn't warn you about loose stools, ear infections, or pneumonia Even worse, it may emerge as a deadly virus When it lurks and occurs as encephalitis Furthermore, this bug is a vast contagion So we turn in six months for your vaccination These are the rashes of childhood, mostly viral Over time, they stood Measles, rubella, and roseola Scarlet EBV Feel your lateral hip T1201 Forms ilio hypogastric, that's super pubic. L1's ilio inguino, groin and mons pubis. So if cut, then you really know. That's terrible, but genital also have genital femoral. L1, L2, so it's in the thigh, cause it's flexible. Next is more accessible, therefore compressible. Moralgia peristetica? I'm impressed you know. That's the lateral, femoral, cutaneous. L2 and 3 had a mold in making it. L2 to 4 major, femoral and opterator. Opterators in a thigh about the size of a hot potato. Femoral advances and branches into three, you know. Middle thighs and immediate, but in the thighs medial. The last one is saphenous. From the knee to the distal cath, and it proceeds to the inner arch after this. And sciatic is perineal and tibial wrapped within. Really just L4 and 5, S1 to 3 added in Sit for the lumbosacral branches is Superior, inferior, gluteo, posterior nerve of the thigh And pudendal nerve, each emerge three roots at a time Peroneal branches behind the knee, anterolaterally from
from tibialis, finally the anterior aspect of feet, tibial nerves, outer calves, sura, and soleus, then becomes plantar because the solar gets sacral nerves, one to three since the posterior thigh, S two to four is pudendo, perineum and eye. And last, do you know that Clunio, LNS, one to three, innervate your gluteo, that's your booty. Next child was febrile, ear pain in the URI, no recent trip, so seizurous. Near his age of two to five, he stared away. Then it came, he stiffened, that's tonic. Once finished for minutes, was rhythmic, that's chronic. Fifteen or less, simply they deep for vests. Any more stiff events select will be complex. Hold up, is focal? That's video EEG, CBC, CT, and maybe NLP. Let's keep it simple. Motrin and Tylenol, then feed them right with Pedialyte. They'll need to fight the virus off. One third will recur, and 5% will progress. But to be honest, that's partially complex.